hi and welcome to the channel today i'll be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to create children's storybooks using chat gpt me journey ai and canva so we'll be covering three steps one will be re the niche research with the focus specifically on the amazon platform and then we'll be using chat gpt to generate the story and some of the prompts we'll be using in me journey to generate the illustrations for our storybook then we'll be tying everything and putting the design together in canva so this is part three of a mini series we started on digital product ideas to sell online with the help of ai tools you could check out the first two videos the links will be in the description box so with that being said let's get started okay so the first step would be niche research and we'll be doing the niche research basically on Amazon platform because the Amazon platform allows you to be a self-published author through Amazon KDP. All you have to do is to put your book together with illustrations, upload on Amazon platform, and anytime you make a sale, Amazon prints the book, packages it, and ships it to your customers. So it's important to do a niche research because you want to ascertain whether um, the storybooks you're trying to create has a demand whether the competition is fierce and how much you could possibly make from selling those storybooks because you don't want to put in all this effort and nothing sells okay so starting from the amazon platform at the very top let's just type in children's storybooks and once you type that in um you could see that the result at the top is hundred thousand, which is very high so we need to reduce um this so at the, once we come to the search again, one good thing about any of these uh, marketplaces is that it tells you what people are actually looking for. So you can see that people have searched for these um, types of children's storybooks. So we're going to just go with the five to seven years old and the result drastically drops to 10,000 results. Okay, so next we would see that we just want to narrow it down further so let's just say we want to make adventure children's storybooks for ages five to seven so we'll put adventure at the end and enter okay and you could see that it drops to three thousand so let's quickly look at sellers so you could see that this is a bestseller it was launched in 2022 this is another bestseller but it was launched you know quite a long time ago and there are a couple of bestsellers on this page. So what we're going to do is to do an in-depth analysis on this page, just to understand if there is demand, what the competition is, and possibly how much we could sell these books. So I have um, BookBold Chrome extension installed. So I'll just click on that. And once I click on that, um, you could see the dialog box that appears. And I'm just going to click on the start. What it's going to do is that it's going to pull up um the information we have on this page so we could analyze so you click on start and allow it pull up some products okay so let's just stop here all right so we pulled in 16 products for the average of the 16 products you could see that the average number of sales per month is about 720.5 which is not bad some of these uh, metrics we're going to look at it one after the other but let's just look at average sales which tells you whether there's a demand for the niche you're looking at for the children's book so let's start from the top you could see this book is not selling so much yet though it was launched very long time ago um let's go down this was published just last year october 17th and you could see that it makes the sales of average of 90 this is estimated 990 a month that's a lot and then you could see again this is 2021 not far back and it makes an average sale of 2376 this is you know what's studying then majority of the books in this category seem to be doing well as by estimated so that means there is demand and one important thing i have to mention is when you're doing research you're not doing research to find you know books to copy you're doing research to understand what is working 
it's important to make your own original pieces original um, storybooks so you could stand out from your competition okay so you could see that there's you know a bit of a demand here so we have identified the fact that there's demand for children's storybook for kids between five to seven years old that is adventurous the next thing is to understand what the competition is so for amazon in terms of competition you're looking at reviews so mostly it's good if you have reviews under a thousand and let's see if we could find some of them for the average you could see is way below which is not bad at all and um so let's look at the average reviews so for this this is 329 not bad this is 2000 this has a lot of reviews okay but still not bad this is good okay this is below 1000 so generally what we could see is that there is demand and the competition is fair so it's not you know brutal or fierce so you we could actually you know sell within this um niche and you could see that the average price is um, eleven dollars and nine cents so you could look at individual books and have an idea of what prices they are selling but it's important to note that amazon is based on royalties so if any of your books is between um 2.99 to 9.99 you get about 70 percent royalty rate but anything that is below 2.99 and above 9.99 you're gonna get about 30% royalty rate. Okay, so now that we have a bit of an idea or um, the niche we wanna create children's story books for, next is to go into ChatGPT and to start generating the stories and putting everything together. So in ChatGPT, we're gonna type here. So I said, write me a children's story about a girl going on an adventure to find a missing treasure. And I said, lesson, um, you, you can achieve what you put your mind on make it six pages and title each page make it mind-blowing and intriguing so once we type in this we just hit enter and um what chat gpt do we think okay so he's writing us a story so this is page one So the good thing about asking it to write it in pages is you could write multiple pages, right? Instead of writing one block of stories and start breaking it down, it gives you the opportunity to write some pages and you can also expand on each of these pages. If you feel that um, the story is very short for page one, you could go ahead and, you know, expound on it as well. Okay, so let's see. So as he's doing this, um, it's important to mention our uh, two things. One would be that for each of these pages and each of the stories it was written, once it's done writing, you need to take these and um, try to check for plagiarism. You don't want your book flagged, you know, for a line that's coming from another book, right? So once you check and you notice that everything is right then you could go ahead but if not you could always hit regenerate response and it generates a new response for you or you could also go to um quibble so let's just take in just one um of the paragraphs one of the pages so just taking this and go to i'm going to use grammarly so i'll just paste this in here just to check so we'll just scan just to see if there's so he's already flagging it already that some significant plagiarism found obviously if you want to see that you know it asks you to you know log in or pay to become a pro member but it's saying that there's a plagiarism found so you need to rewrite that this specific um page so you could just put it in um quibbles like i had explained in my previous video so you could just move it into quibbles we we'll just paraphrase and it tries to change things up okay um let's just see if this is good 
Okay, let's go back to Grammarly and scan again. So you have to do this just to check, just to be sure that nothing is flagged. So it's none is found. So these are just basically readability and um, spelling checks and things like that. So you have to go in um, and check one after the other just to be sure that everything is good. Okay, so once you're sure of this, the next thing we need to do is we need to tell um, ChatGPT to still break this down for us. So um, we just, the size of each of the page for now, for just this demonstration is okay. So we don't want to expand, but if you want to just say expand page one and it gives you a more detailed story. So the next thing is to um, ask ChatGPT to give us for each of the page, we need adjectives and verbs so we could um, describe it to an illustrator so basically we are trying to get the adjective and verbs for mid journey okay so we say describe each page in adjective and verbs so i could describe it to an illustrator okay so we just hit enter okay so it starts right say sarah is described as a brave and curious okay a treasure is mentioned as missing and located in big mountains so instead of, it starts breaking it down for us this would help us in uh mid journey and one thing else that i've noticed with chat gpt is i've directed stories multiple times and it shows the results in different formats i'll show you once it's done generating this of the ones i've directed previously and how we broke it down but let me quickly show you the one i directed previously and you can see how we broke it down so I generated one before and when I said adjectives, this is how we broke it down. So chat GPT has a way of giving you different formats, but the most important thing is knowing how to use it in mid journey to generate the illustrations for each of your pages. Okay. So let's just go back to the one we are working on. Okay. So now it has given us a breakdown for the adjectives and the verbs. What we want is we want access to kind of tell us the people or animals that are in the um in the story just to help us more when we are prompting it's telling you basically what should be in the picture just to help you uh in the illustrations when you go to mid journey okay so now we have gotten our you know full story we have our adjectives and verbs and we also have how we want it to look like. So the next thing we have to do is to go to Mid Journey to start generating, you know, these illustrations. Okay. So let's just move on to Mid Journey. Okay. So when we get to Mid Journey, the first thing that we have to do is to create the character. One of the questions I got from the previous video when, when we were talking about um, coloring books were how do you generate um, consistent characters? Um, specifically in me journey so it's important to mention that to generate consistent character in me journey is not an easy fit it's something that you have to sit down and do over and over again it takes time to be able to get consistent character but even at that there's still a bit of variations which you would see when we start generating these images so first of all for the uh, images I'll be using the story I generated previously just to make it easier for us so the first thing I would do is I want to generate um, a young girl between the age of, you know, five to seven that is, you know, going on an adventure. So what I would do is I'll put in this prompt slash imagine before you put in your prompt. Okay, so let's just look at the prompt. It says illustrate a young girl with a backpack seven years old long red hair cute simple brown boots in style of disney and pixar animations no outline because we just want it flat and we want the specific dimension um one thing one thing you need to know about me journey is you need to give it specific information specifically for you to get a specific result okay so once we type this in we just enter okay so it's done so you could enlarge okay so you look and say i look for what you like if you don't like this you could always regenerate okay to find what you like so what you're trying to achieve first of all is 
to get the character of the young lady Sarah that we want to use and once we get um, the character as we like it then we will use the character as the basis to generate all of our illustration to give it that a bit of consistency okay so once you find what you're looking for you upscale so this has like two bags no we don't need that this is one so let's just upscale one from here so one two three four let's just upscale four okay so the upscaling is done i did two um this is one okay Not looking bad and um this is the next one this is the one i really like and i would love to use for um building up my scenes for the book so the next thing i'll do to tell Ch chat gpt to tell sorry me journey that this looks okay what you could do is to click on this um emoji so you click on it and it says you have successfully rated this job and the next thing you need to do um is to come at the very top here and select the envelope so once you select the envelope emoji it's going to send you details of this picture what it's going to send you is what we call seed okay so the seed is um what is going to help maintain the same kind of picture that you are trying to um generate even if you're using it in different things so you would not um, this number down okay and we use it in product generation so the first thing we are going to generate is the first um scene for the first page so i've written it down so i'll just copy and paste it so i'll just use the imagine prompt okay and um paste so this is the first scene so it's important to note that if you want to reference this image what you could do is you could click on it all right and right click and get copy image address so you copy that and come to the first of the prompt and paste okay okay then we hit enter and wait for it to run okay so you can see here it totally changed the jacket um this looks a bit close but not too close um we could upscale one while we try to regenerate so just let's just upscale one two three so we'll upscale the third so these are some ones generated you see how the yellow bag so i think i like this let me upscale this while we wait for the other one to upscale so this is the one that was upscaled mm, not bad the hand is kind of muffled so these are the things you need to look out for in mid journey there's some things that you might not be able to correct you might need to take it out to another tool to correct it but the hand is muffled so we might not use it so you keep iterating till you get what you're looking for so for instance if this is what we want and you want to save it you just click on the picture right click and you could save image and save all your images as you know png to your system okay let's see this okay i like this all right this this looks good so I'll just um go ahead and generate some of them and also um download all the ones i've generated before now so we don't spend so much time okay so another thing that we need to note is so for each of the pages you need to continue using the link as a reference and the seed as a reference while you change you know the the words to reflect what that scene is okay so once you are done downloading your pictures from me journey the next thing is to put everything together in canva but before we do that we need to know the dimension of the book we are creating 
So for this tutorial, we're using 8x8. So we go to Amazon KDP calculator and put in the parameters, including 8 by 8.5 by 8.5 inches and put in number of books and click calculate dimension. It calculates the dimension and you can download the template. We'll be using this template to um, design our book. So we go back to, let me quickly show us the template. So this is downloaded templates. You could see end to end. So we'll be using for the book cover, we'll be using this for the um, inside of the book pages. Either you make it 8.5 or you could also design in such a way that is this dimension, but you leave one of the pages blank if that's what you want inside your book. Okay, so we'll just put this aside and then go over to Canva. So in Canva, you click here, create design, then choose custom size. Okay, change this to inches and we'll be changing this to 17.8.750. Okay, and you click on create new design. Now, because we are doing um, 8.5, five by 8.5 um you also need to upscale some of your images if your images are not large enough for the size you are working on you need to upscale it with one of the tools like the ai um, image enlarger i mentioned in the previous video you could check that out you could enlarge the pictures before you upload it in canva but let's just go ahead and um click upload click here and says upload files so we could get so we go to our downloads and look for the folder for okay so we select the picture and click open and it uploads so the same process to upload all your pictures i'm going to have to upload some of the pictures i'm going to use so you could click here upload file then go to your specific folder then you could upload any image you want to use so let me upload that last one i downloaded so this is it okay so now for the cover the next thing is to click and we want to drag this to the edge to fill it up okay so we'll be designing within the space that amazon has provided okay so we don't want to bleed out we just want to walk within the space that we have here so the next first thing i'm going to do is to drag in a picture so let me just drag in a picture that i like okay so this is a picture i want to use so i'll put it up okay so we have the picture so the next thing we, we need to do is to put in some form of title here and um put in the author so let me just go ahead and do that and i'll be right back okay so this is how i want my title to be you could spend more time to make your title look better okay i've gone ahead to put that in but i, I need to grade this out so we could see clearly so you could just say transparency just reduce it just see okay and also know that when you are designing don't cover the area where you have the barcode you don't want amazon rejecting what you have done okay so now we have a bit of the front the back but if we reduce this you will notice that we are dealing with the white background so we want to change the color so we'll click on the color and come here i think i want to make it this background yeah so i like this so let's return this back so let me just duplicate and remove the back the border so you see how it looks so i'll just delete the border and this is how it looks next thing to do is to do the inner pages so i'll go back to my home and choose 8.5 by 8.5 and create design okay so i'm still going to use the template i downloaded but only just one half of it so i could maintain my margin so i'll still go to upload okay i'll bring this in so 
what i'll do is i would eliminate just one side of it to the margin and stop okay so i could use this as a guide so what i would do is go ahead and put in all the text for all the pages so you would see how it looks okay so now that we have gone ahead and put in all the um pages that we generated now we have to put in the pictures for each of the scenes so the first one is so i'll be using this one okay so you could just center it I could just reduce it a bit okay so i'll just go ahead and put other pictures and i'll be back okay so i've gone ahead to put in some of those pictures so you can see this i stretched it down then i put in this one as well when she was climbing move this a little bit i move the bodice okay so you can see that the characters are fairly consistent with the hair, the bag, based off of the pictures we have generated. Okay, so once you're done putting everything together, you have your cover, you have the inner pages. So you go to the share at the top and use the download button and you change this to um, PDF or you use the PDF for print. So use this okay and then you could download this page as a pdf and save it and you could also go back to your cover and do the same and download as a pdf and save it and then you your children's storybook is ready to upload on amazon okay so there you have it so i will be doing the last part of the series where i'll be talking about um wall art in depth and um, be sure to like subscribe and stay tuned for that when that goes live thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.